Hey guys, this is Spencer from Destructoid.com, and I'm here with Swery and Tomio, two of the brilliant minds behind the upcoming Deadly Premonition Director's Cut. Oh! Hey guys, this is Spencer from Destructoid.com, and I'm here with Swery and Tomio, two of the men behind the upcoming Deadly Premonition Director's Cut. Hello, Destructoid. I am Swery. Hi, I'm Tomio, the producer of this game. This is not the first time that Deadly Premonition has come out. Uh, how does it feel to have uh, creative control over a game not, not only once, but twice? This director's cut to be released by the director's cut, the people who didn't play the director's cut were able to play and play. This unique game, unique game, is more than a franchise that will be bigger and bigger. By releasing this director's cut, he wishes that uh, so many people uh, can play this game. This time we are going to this, uh, deliver this game to the PS3 owners, uh, I mean the new customers, so I want them to enjoy this game. So with the original release of Deadly Premonition, uh, reactions for the game have been very uh, extreme in either directions, in reviews giving it uh, either tens or very low marks. Why do you think that is, and how has that reaction influenced uh, the, the re release and the, the director's cut? Soon after the release, uh, we received a very low score, then he was so shocked to see that. Soon after that again, this time he received a very high score, so he shocked again. <laughs> so he did double shock and he didn't know what to do. Is there anything uh, that you guys have done with the, the director's cut to try to maybe bring up some of the low scores and try to make it uh, appeal or make it more understandable to a wider audience. It might be our reflection, so that's why we start and decide to improve such kind of points. Uh, for example, graphics or the control and uh, what, what was uh, difficulty. Uh, difficulty. So we improved the, those kind of factors, but uh, probably by fixing those things, uh, we didn't destroy the uh, good point or the good nature or the good atmosphere of the territory premonition we believed. So. so, yeah, one of the uh, most striking aspects of Deadly Premonition is its sleepy kind of small town uh, charm that I think we don't see a lot in most modern gaming. Do you think there's a reason behind uh, the lack of this kind of atmosphere in most games? So, uh, firstly, I gave him the scene. It was the open world plus mystery. The open world plus mystery, if you think about it, in an urban city, the city is a lot of accidents. It's a lot of accidents. It's a lot of accidents. It's a lot of accidents. He didn't want to take the uh, setting of the uh, very hectic city because uh, the, we, we had to put the mother factor in this game. But uh, if we uh, bring the setting of the, for example, London or Tokyo, the mother is not so like, special feature. So that's why we uh, brought the setting of the country town in this game. In the small city, so, 
すごく奇妙な殺され方をしてるって言ったら大きな町でやるよりもインパクトが大きいと思ったんです。So, the mother of Oka is in a very small, peaceful town. That might be a very big surprise. And、uh, it will bring the game as a unique feature. So, what, that's why we decided to do that. Deadly Premonition is definitely one of the more unique games we've seen in recent years.、Uh, but were there any games that you guys maybe played or looked to for inspiration、uh, with the initial release and then maybe something you've come back to? Uh, or ones that have newly influenced the, the director's cut of the game? It's a very difficult question. 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 Affected to his creativity as for this deadly premonition. Tatoeba, some chotosta scene, the more, this sign, Mita Kotoga Arushin Toka, to Tino Memo State, so you all salary, you hold me state, game on Nakani Retari Stem. For example,、uh, around at the beginning of, of the game, then the scene of the conversation between Cory, the master of the hotel, and the York, where they are sitting. Long table.、Yeah. But actually, he said that the, he actually he sold in the USA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that, so,、uh, so he took the scene, actual scene, to the game. So, he, he, what he wants to say is that、uh, everything is,、uh, most things are based on the actual scene, what he saw. So, it's one of those kind of,、uh, you've, you've brought many aspects of your life to kind of become the basis of Daily Premonition. Including the murders on trees? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> you still are. For any more, the diner, the diner, the Harry to Michael, the Krumai Sosta Krushin, I guess. Are you more? There's a scene that the Harry and the Michael、uh, appears into the diner. Are you more? Jitza, to our diner, the Gohan Tabeta, the Kini, Roger Hong, the Krumatomate, Nandemo Krumai Sosta, he took a taxa high ticket on the show. Oh, also, that scene was based on the actual、uh, his experience. He saw that scene and, and when he visited the USA for the research.、Uh, the car suddenly stopped in front of the diner when he was having a, having a lunch at the diner. So, suddenly, car the open, car, car door opened and the、uh, car said, Who do my?、Uh, what do you call it? Wheelchairs? Yeah, it appeared, and、uh, so, so many people, so many old men entered into the diner. So the, he was so surprised. <gasps> Then he decided to take that scene <laughs> into the game. I have to ask do you、uh, envision kind of an, approaching any of the, the themes that you brought up in Deadly Premonition, be it in、uh, maybe an extension of the original game into like a franchise, or do you think that there are some. Overarching themes that you kind of present in Deadly Premonition that you'd like to revisit in later games? So, it's a very unique and unique game. It's a very unique and unique game. In order to、uh, develop the next, next game, like、uh, Deadly Premonition, probably we have, have to find a, a big chance because、uh, this, this game is very difficult to develop. So,、uh, we, are, we are looking forward to the next chance. で今回こうディレクターズカットのチャンスをもらってこれを機会に今までこのゲームを遊んだことない人たちが遊ぶことでそういうチャンスというのはもっと大きくなっていけばいいなと思ってる。So this time、uh, by releasing this game,、uh, we will be finally we will be able to、uh, deliver this fantastic game to the new customers, especially owners. So that this might be a good chance to expand the The promotion world and、uh, also the chance to,、uh, for us to grab the, to develop the next、um, future title.、Uh, so, in, in, I guess finally, I would like to、uh, ask what you guys think、uh, Deadly Premonition's kind of contribution has been. Like, what do you want、uh, not only players but also、uh, fellow game developers to kind of take from and learn from Deadly Premonition? 
、ドゥドゥプリモーションを作るときにやっぱり一番気にしたのはゲームのスタートとエンディングだけが大事なんじゃなくて途中も全部大事だということなんですね。When he started thinking about、uh, developing a d e t e p r i m a t i o n he originally thought that the, the game, the, the most important thing for the game is not the, only the、uh, beginning and the ending, but the,、uh, the how can I say, middle part is also very important. で、その部分をもちろん物語も次が見たい最後じゃなくて次が知りたいっていうふうに作らなきゃいけないしゲームプレイの体験自体もずっと継続しなきゃいけないっていうのを感じてほしいです。So the, uh, オリジナル版を遊んでくれた皆さんはもしディレクターズカットをやれるチャンスがあれば皆さんが期待しているようなエンディングを見れると僕は思っています。で今回初めてこのゲームを遊ぶユーザーの皆さんというのはヨークとザックの関係性に本当にはまると僕は信じているのでその食わず嫌いやめて遊んでほしい。So, to、uh, the new players who didn't have a, have a chance to play this game, so、uh, they will be、uh, very surprised to see the、uh, relationship between York and Zach. So, so please don't hesitate to play this game and、uh, enjoy. All right, thank you so much for your time, guys. Thank you. And Deadly Premonition is slated to come out in mid 2013, so definitely keep it locked for our upcoming previews, reviews, and all the coverage you need for Deadly Premonition Director's Cut.